Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Trojan Talk. I'm Mackenzie Foster and today I'm joined by a very well-known artist, Mr. Jamie Grimes, and we're talking about his featured exhibit in the International Art Center today, Calmia. So thank you so much, Jamie, for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So first, you know, just looking at your work and doing some research, it's seeing that your works are inspired by natural forces. So what exactly does that mean to you? Well, the work is abstract, and so it's not always a direct representation of a specific thing, but I find most often for the audience, they see things that they might recognize from nature. And that's what the same process that I go through, but it might not be one specific thing for me either. So I might create something that looks like the surface of water, maybe if you're underwater snorkeling or looking at a, a, the, the top of a whitewater river or something like that, but it might also be really similar to patterns you might see in a tree canopy. So it's not super specific, but it, it's those types of patterns. And that sounds really interesting. So also when you talk about your work, you said you want people who see it to feel a little sense of unsettlement, but also feel serene. So where does the juxtaposition come from that? Sometimes it's subtle. So I think it's okay for the work to just be beautiful and to enjoy that time. But there are questions that come up about things like the materials that I might use or even some of the, the lighting effects might have kind of a dramatic twist. Um, for example, it might remind you of something like a thunderstorm. And when we see a thunderstorm, there's a vibe to it that's not always completely settling and serene, but it's still the kind of stuff that draws us in. So some of it can be that angle. Um, some of it can even be questions about our relationship to nature, which isn't always as peaceful and serene as we would want it to be. So uh, question things like using plastic materials and things like that. Uh, I want people to think a little bit about too. And then, so you know, it's in the International Art Center at Troy, so there's going to be a lot of eyes on it. So what is something that you want art students at Troy University to take away from seeing your work? I don't know that I have specific goals. Um, you know, I think a lot in this particular piece about the way that I'm layering lighting and trying to create a space, but it's also kind of obvious that I'm using things like light fixtures that are apparent. Um, so there, sometimes we think there are rules to making art and we can typically break those rules also as art. So um, the example that I'm putting forward it's playing by its own set of rules, but there's still a sense of how it can work. Um, so I don't know that I really, I don't think of that as a lesson for art students, but in, when I started engaging with art students, we ended up talking about some of those types of things. So I could see that being a part of a conversation with students. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, it was so great getting to talk to you. So great getting to know more about the exhibit. I'll definitely be sure to drop by the IAC. So thank you so much for joining us today. Sounds good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Trojan Talk.